Okay, we are doing something <laughs> really cool. So I found this guy on YouTube, and he makes uh, the stick switches for the ends of the stick. So you can put, Jetty has a bunch that you can, there, there's an actual switch, there's a push button, there's a rotator, there's all kinds of stuff. Well, when I'm flying and I'm holding my transmitter, I have a free finger down here to do all of my stuff. But I, I'm a pincher. Don't judge. I'm a pincher. This stick top has three buttons on it. So we're going to put this on here. And whenever I'm flying, I'll be able to push the top one or the two side ones and make it do cool stuff like bucket work and whatever I want. I tell it that it loves me and I can push it on there. So I'm like, your jetty loves you. So I had to get an extension module so that I can solder all the wires because there are five wires, three switches uh, in this, and this gets plugged in into the radio and we solder onto that. So yeah, this is, <laughs> this is gonna be cool, but oh my God, I'm soldering inside my damn jetty. Okay, we'll get this figured out. All right, I'm trying out a new holder for my camera. This thing actually fits around my neck and chokes me to death. <laughs> All right, so we got the switches and they are freaking awesome. I'm loving this thing. But in order to get them through the sticks right there, you got to kind of straighten out the wires. But first you got to mark the wires. So he has them bundled together so that like this red, white, and blue are together. And then this blue and white are together as well. But you got to take off the little holders that he's got on the end in order to slip them through said sticks. But in order to do that, they are a little cattywampus. First, I marked them because you have to take them apart. And then you're winding up with two blue, two white, and the same color and all that stuff. So I marked them. I took a little Sharpie and just went through and marked that these two are together. Okay? Make sense? Yes. All right. Then... See, they've got this little thingy right here that's holding the wires together. But the wires, they're curled because they were obviously part of a twisted wire set. Well, in order to get it through all them damn things, you got to kind of straighten them out. So I'm just taking these and just kind of going back and forth on them and straightening out the wires a little bit so that they're smooth. See, there you go. There's the difference between a smooth wire and a curly wire. So we'll get that all done. And then this is the expander for Jetty. And there's, you know, six spots that you can solder on stuff. So we're going to put this on here. And then this goes into the inside of said Jetty. Yeah. All right. So. Got the back off, ha ha. Got wires poking through, and they are tight. So when this comes in here, you gotta get all five of those wires, and I swear, it takes up every inch of that freaking thing. So he has you put a little WD-40 or some trifle or something on there just to help lubricate pulling these things through. So that's what we're doing now, is we are pulling these little bad boys through. So just a, a gentle, gentle tugs little bit on each wire and help feed it through. And if you can get them all together about the same length, then you can kind of pull them all three, at all five of them at the same time. And then right at the very end, we've still got some, some wires to get through here. So we'll pull these individually. just ever so gently sound like Bob Ross eh, just put a little happy little tree right here the only thing is is you gotta twist this on here and that entail twists the wires well there is hardly any room in there for those wires to twist so that's my only concern is that these wires do not twist very well inside there see that if I spin that I let it go when it comes back so 
there is the stick attached and hopefully me twisting it on there that was the concern i had was you got to screw it on to the stick obviously and that was twisting the wires at the same time so i'm hoping that the lubrication i put in there kept them from chafing and all that kind of good stuff i gotta yeah we'll see but that's cool it's got three buttons on it you got that one and that one and that one i wanted to make sure that my uh wires didn't get screwed up i got a little continuity tester and i know the red wire is the top button because i already did this before but just to make sure we have continuity everything is still good from being in there and being twisted screwing this on to the stick it twists several times and i was worried that it might have screwed up the the wire right, doing another continuity check because i pulled these wires through the other side so i got the little thing there and i want to these are the two wires by themselves, and that is the top button. So we'll make sure this freaking thing works. Hot damn. We got continuity there. Hot damn. Got that. And there we go. And if I press the button, bottom button, nothing works. Top button, nothing works. So just those two wires. So after pushing all these things through and pulling them through, they are still connected to the buttons, thank God. So I used my smallest heat shrink tubing without even heat shrinking it. It sticks down inside there. So there is some good protection against everything down in there. And I'm not even gonna attempt to throw a torch down in there. We're gonna tie these up so that there is enough movement and i'm just gonna hot glue it to kind of keep them in position the heat shrink tube is on there protecting it from right there you can see where it's gonna be in there but there's enough flex in this that and here's the other side and i just did the same damn thing only this side has the collective on it so it was a little bit different as far as uh, how the wires were acting when it was down in here. Keeps them in place. Got them all down in here. Got them all soldered in. Next will be to uh, activate them and make sure that they're working after I plug the battery in, put this back all together. And I'm still not seeing these two switches in the proportional end. Okay, so now you're gonna see that I've actually swapped the positions of the switches the two on the side of the stick are now on the actual existing switch on the side of the main stick. There's a three, there's a spot there for it to be soldered. And the push button up on top is actually on the switch expander module, which is, sh it should show up in the uh, PPM module in the jetty. So I have a push button on the end of the stick and it's just a uh, momentary and I have it soldered onto the channels one and channel four and I have it plugged in. And when I go into the proportional PPM menu, it doesn't see anything. Okay. Here's the fix for it. <laughs> you got to activate the damn thing. This is what I had to do to activate that thing. It's not broken. It's just not activated. Went into model and then I went into systems and you go into configuration and then down in configuration you come all the way down here to ppm connections settings and normally it's off but I they were all the same as far as any changes with any of the other stuff so uh, I just put it on ppm 16 positive and it shows up you don't see it in your view your inputs because it's a ppm thing so what you gotta do actually what i can do is in my timers and sensors i actually put it up on this little switch here for the reset switch it shows channel one 
So you can go up in there and then you can see. Timer reset. You can see it's just a temporary thing and you can't change that so far as I found to where you push it and it stays in that other position. It is a momentary switch. And the two side buttons here, those work uh, as well. And those actually you see them on where you can see inputs moving stuff. I can view inputs. And you have to go into the sticks and switch setups and actually go into uh, finding what switch those are. And it's actually position uh, K and L, SK and SL. And you have to uh, get it and activate it to a standard switch. So if I went to SI, see there's nothing here. So you have to actually come in here type of control you have to put it to a standard switch of three position you know there's proportional that's a little rotator button on top so you have two of those and it is part of that setup so that you can actually see it so you have to change it to a standard switch then the sk and the sl i actually have it set up so the upper is closed, lower is open. So right now, so you can see those, those two right there. And I have those set up on, uh, so they stay. If I touch the bottom button, it's going to open something like my bucket. That's what I really wanted it for was for my bucket. So when I come in, I can hit the bottom one. It will dump because lower to me means I want it to dump out. Higher means to close it, and that was the same way I had it on my switches. If I had the switch down, it was closed, and I just had to flick it in order to open it up. So it's kind of the same way. I'll be able to just go flying along and open up the bottom one, close the top one, and I never let go of the stick. I don't have to be searching for this stuff in my brain to get that done. Sound cool? At least that's what I had to do for the uh, U.S. stuff. So at least that worked. So yeah. working with Andre uh, with the wild boar stick switches that he's got in there. They screw right on there. You saw it all. Uh, I had a couple questions for him. Went through Messenger. He was right on it. So it was really nice to work with him. He's got a couple videos on his YouTube channel that uh, goes over setup and where to solder and activation and things like that. And uh, the European Jetty models are a little different. That PPM module for the uh, switch extender isn't activated, so you actually have to go in and activate it. And that's what I went over for the American side of it. And he's like, I, I, mine was activated. Well, well, mine wasn't. And now I've got another one coming because <laughs> I thought this one was broke. But anyway, really good to work with him. Uh, I, I would say three or four weeks at the most. I, I didn't really pay attention as to when he sent it. He makes them up. He lets you know what the status is and when it ships out and tracking numbers and all that good stuff so it was just really easy to, to work with him so uh thank you andre those switches are gonna work perfect exactly what i was wanting to look for so anybody that's out there with a jetty uh if you don't want the really tall sticks that jetty sells these are a good alternative they're a little bit shorter so they're not nearly as bad so yeah can't wait to really try it out